तो चलो Hi there, this is Natasha. I'm the creator, tutor, and designer at My Creative Butterfly. I design crochet patterns from beginner till advanced levels. I also take online and offline crochet classes. I hope you find what you are looking for on the channel, and if you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's start. So today's tutorial is to make these pretty, vibrant, and colorful rainbow ring crochet earrings. This this is a very quick pattern and these earrings are extremely lightweight versatile and very practical to wear you can make them for yourself or you can also make them for some loved one as a gift So before we start let me take you through the materials that you'll require in order to make these colorful earrings of your own As you can see that I have made rainbow earrings that is why I have used seven different colors. If you want you can change the color scheme, you can make it in a single color in a color that is your favorite or you can make it in combination of two or three different colors or in a shade of the similar color like going from light to darker shade. You can go for red, black, white or any such color combination that you prefer. For me I am doing rainbow that is why I am doing these seven colors the seven colors of the rainbow So uh, to start with the first thing that you'll require is obviously the thread So for this year I'll be using seven different colors the web gear So the thread that I am using is a size 20 mercerized crochet cotton thread so i am using the anchor brand so i am using a violet color then will you do the web gear so violet indigo blue green yellow then orange and the last one the seventh color will be red so these are the seven colors and this is a mercerized crochet cotton size 20 with this you will require a 0.75 mm crochet hook a pair of sharp scissors for cutting off the thread a pastry needle for weaving in the ends for finishing off the rings this is a blunt point needle The hole should be big enough so that you can thread the size 20 thread easily through it. Then you'll require some jump rings. I'm using silver. These are split rings and earring hooks. With this, in order to handle the jump rings, you'll require some jewelry pliers. This is a flat nose plier. So that's about it. Now let us start. So for starting, the rings are padded rings. So in order to create the padding you just need to wrap the yarn around your pinky finger 10 times like this Now gently remove the wraps make sure that they don't unravel then hold them securely in your left hand insert the hook through all the thread ends and make a slip stitch Now we are going to work around this padding that is these wraps of thread. I'm just going to cover the entire ring with single crochets. The number of stitches may vary. For me all the seven rings have slightly different number of stitches. I have around 22 to 24 or 25 single crochets in the rings. So just start covering the wraps with single crochets till they are nicely covered. You should not be able to see the wrap of the thread from underneath and you should not overdo the single crochet stitches also. So make sure that the ring is nice and firm. If required, push the stitches a little so that you have space to make more stitches like this. Now continue. Make it nice and even so that the ring looks neat. Now once done place a slip stitch in the first single crochet that you made do a slip stitch here that will finish your ring that's it now just cut off the thread leaving a nice 4 to 5 inches long tail and pull it through to secure the end leave a nice long tail so that it is easier for you to weave in the thread end to come uh, finish off the ring 
now I'm going to make these rings in all seven colors you've just seen the yellow one make it in all the seven colors that we that are there in the rainbow so do a red one green orange blue indigo violet and make two in each color because obviously you're going to make a pair of earrings so you'll require two in each color so you'll have a total of 14 rings once you're done with all the rings just weave in the ends in order to weave in just thread the tail of the thread into the tapestry needle and then just pass it through the central padding that is underneath the stitches like this go under a few stitches like this don't pull it too tight keep going that's it once done just cut off the thread very close to the ring like this repeat this for all the 14 rings so that you have you are finished with all the rings and then you can start assembling the earring so here i have finished the seven rings for one of my earrings is the red orange yellow then you have the green blue indigo and violet now the next step is assembling them so the assembly of these rings will be done using the jump rings i'm using 6 mm jump rings these are split rings that is they are openable you can open them pass the crocheted ring through it and then close them again use a nose plier to handle the rings properly now for assembly just open the split ring always open the ring sideways like this now once done i'll start with the violet i have the violet on the top in on my earring then just pass it through one of the single crochet stitches like this now just close the ring again that's it now after violet i'll go for indigo so the next turn is of the indigo ring before we move to the next one make sure that you close the jump ring properly so that your rings do not fall off now open the second jump ring and attach the indigo crochet sorry indigo crochet ring to it same way as we did for the violet one now only difference is here you have to attach the jump ring that you attach to the violet ring as well like this now close the ring now for all the consequent rings we are going to do the same thing attach the light blue ring to the indigo then attach the green to the blue one yellow to green the orange to the yellow one and the red to the orange one the all the colors of the rainbow you have to keep attaching the next one to the previous one so here insert it into the blue ring like this now attach it to the blue the ring that is attached to the indigo jump uh, ring attach it to the jump ring that is attached to the indigo ring like this now close it securely now just keep repeating this till you are done with all the seven rings make sure that you close the jump rings properly so that your rings do not fall off Now this is the last one or the red one has to be attached to the jump ring that is attached to the orange one close the jump ring that's it we are done with assembling all the seven rings now the next step is the next step is to attach the earring hook to it so take the earring hook 
again open it sideways as you did for the jump rings now we are going to attach it to the jump ring that is attached to the purple ring here insert that and close it securely just like we did for the jump rings that's it we are done with the assembly of the earrings repeat the entire step one more time till you have a pair of earrings here i have already done the second one so i have the pair of earrings done i hope you enjoyed the tutorial please do let me know in the comments if you liked it or not and feel free to ask if you have any questions if you like what you learned today don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting bye bye